What's up Capricorn? It's West Coast Tarot with your March Love Refocus video. This is for the lovely sign of Capricorn, Cappy, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading. I may not resonate with every Capricorn out there, but if you like my style and I vibed with you, please like and subscribe to catch future West Coast Tarot videos. If you're interested in any of the tarot decks that I use or want to purchase a personal reading with me where we go more one-on-one -on -one into your specific situation, all that information can always be found down below as well as how to contact me with business inquiries. So you guys, this is the love refocus video. So let me tell you guys about this video because I just made this spread up. And I have to be honest with you, I'm just so bored with doing the general love readings. Um, I'm, you know, I just need a break from people and I, from people's past and I feel like it's always kind of like the same similar storyline. So if you are in a position where you are ready to refocus your, your time, your energy, you're looking towards new love, you're no longer focusing on the person from the past, um, you're no longer staying stuck, you're just moving on, you're ready to shift into a whole new um, way, you know, in a whole new area of your life, a whole new direction in your life. And this is a video for you. Um, if you are connecting with a person and it's a brand new connection and you guys are just starting to get to know one another, hey, take a break from tarot. Let it play out organically. I am a tarot reader, but I don't even, I never get my cards read. I don't read cards for myself and I'm always left out in the dark for my own life, unfortunately, but um, I help others, so that's why I do it. So just know that tarot is here for when you need to heal, when you need guidance and clarity in your life, and it's not meant for you to live your life day um, after day on, okay? It will always be here when you need it, but again, it's like, that's the beauty about life sometimes is the unknown, is the dance of life. So Spirit, tell me about Capricorn, please, the ones that are refocusing their love. Tell me about Capricorns, please. The ones that are ready to move on. Okay, so we have past life. Um, before I say that, I mean, you guys could be moving on from someone. Yeah, okay, so there could be someone that you felt you had a soul connection with. This is someone you had a lot of passion for. Um, Ice King often reminds me of Leo, um, but this is something that could have been frozen in time. Winter could have been significant. Um, I definitely feel like this is someone who had chemistry with you. You had chemistry with this person. You felt like this situation was unreal, but something happened. It got left in the cold, okay? So I feel like you're kind of hardened by this. I feel like you're kind of guarded. With the Ice King, sometimes he's a little numb. Um, you, some of you could be dealing with someone with brunette hair, brown hair. Um, but I feel like you're kind of just numb, you know, and I feel like you're just ready to refocus your time and energy, but sometimes it's really hard and that's the truth, right? Um, it's, it's easier said than done. It's, you know, it's not always the easiest to move on. Tell me about Capricorns, please. What is their current energy? current energy we have the higher font spiritual advisement so <laughs> um you know this is, does show a couple that's married some of you could have left behind a marriage or recently divorced um it could have been a long-term commitment but this is spiritual advisement and the higher fonts a very spiritual card it could be seeking out um counseling it could be seeking out support from clergy from church it could also be something as simple as you know getting spiritual advisement from tarot card readings um, or people that are really into helping on a more spiritual realm a more spiritual path so I feel like right now you're just really consulting um, tarot card readings tell me about Capricorn's current energy please why is the higher font here some of you don't know if you should stay in a relationship um, I feel like you're playing it safe, but there's something that you're longing. You're, there's someone you're longing to give an offer to or someone that you're longing to receive an offer from. I feel like there's someone that you may want a higher level of commitment from. Here we go. I feel like the past is seeping in on yours. <laughs> um, but I feel like with the higher font here, I feel like there's something that you're playing it safe on. And I feel like you're aware of this person. Um, this is Taurus energy here with the higher font. And I feel like 
you're definitely wanting to give your your offer to this person or receive an offer from this person, but you're playing it safe. They could be married um, or you haven't spoken to them in a while with Ice King, okay? What's blocking this connection? We have King of Swords, quick-witted and intellect. Um, this is also air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So there could be someone, an individual blocking this connection. There could be someone in the way of this connection. Um, the King of Swords is armed, of course, with his sword. He could be pretty intimidating. Um, this is someone who, you know, isn't always like the friendliest person. Um, they mean well, but they just have a rough exterior. So there could definitely be someone standing in the way of this connection. Um, or, clarify King of Swords, please. Why is this here? Or I feel like you're just using your head over your heart, and I feel like you're pretty guarded right now. Yeah, there's no communication. So there's someone you haven't moved on. It could be a fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Queen of Wands, Reverse. Um, I definitely feel like you're detached from this person. But either way, I feel like there's there's two individuals here. So I feel like there's someone here that you're thinking about, that you're no longer communicating with. Things have slowed down. You're worried. You're panicked. But I feel like with the Queen of um, Wands energy here, you could be insecure to approach this person. You don't know how they would receive you. I just also feel like for many of you, there's someone in the way. So you could be married or this person can be married or there's something similar to that. Okay. Um, tell me about what's coming towards Capricorn. We have six of pentacles equality. It's kind of a cool card, but, um, this is a very generous energy. Six of Pentacles is about charity, generosity, sharing. You know, sharing the world with someone. Someone who's your equal. So I do feel like you have something that's coming towards you that's going to balance out your life. Tell me more, please. What's coming towards Capricorn? Yeah. See? Oh my gosh, the world. So there's something here that was not closed out. You guys didn't complete a cycle. There's something that's still waiting for you. Why is the world here, please? This is someone that, it could be Gemini energy, but um, with the lovers, this is someone who could be like a soul connection for you. Someone you had a lot of passion for with the lovers here. Um, strong connection. Definitely a strong connection here. This is someone who I feel like just balanced you. You guys kind of got each other. Um, but something happened. I feel like this is someone who's your equal, but there's no closure here. I definitely feel like you will have a chance to balance this out. I definitely feel like you will have a chance to make things right. I feel like this is someone who still wants to make things right with you. Um, wants to be generous with their time and energy with you. Okay. Tell me about Capricorn's current environment. We have Nine of Swords, self-sabotage and nightmares. So some of you could be having anxiety right now or just thinking the worst. Um, some of you could have sabotaged that connection. Um, or this could be the person's energy that you're dealing with. There's someone who could really just be in their head. There's someone who maybe sabotaged this connection. Um, they could have, you know, issues from their childhood issues from their past. Their past life could have impeded on this connection here. They could have been numb because of their past. But this is your current environment. So if this is not you, this is the person that you're connecting with. Yeah, see Queen of Cups. This is Water Energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Um, the Queen of Cups in reverse is someone who is not emotionally balanced. This is someone who can be a martyr at times. And, you know, not be happy because she has to sacrifice for another reason. But most of all, um, I definitely feel like someone's not being able to offer their emotion. Tell me more about this queen, please. Why is this queen here? Yeah, see? Ugh. Nine of swords. So nine of swords twice. That's not positive. I feel like you guys are really in your head right now. Um... I feel like you're stressed out about the situation. I feel like there's a lot of regret. There's a lot of sorrow. I feel like you're thinking about how things played out and what could have been, what you could have done differently, and you can't let the past torment you. You have to move on. Okay. Um, what is the advice from the Spirit? We have Three of Pentacles, collaboration. 
Um, so this is about teamwork. This is about working together, collaborating, um, building something. You know, this is people holding hands and they're illuminated by the light. And so I feel like you're doing a lot of thinking and it's really stressing you out. But I feel like if you want something, you need to go out and get it. If, you, if this is something you want, if there's someone here that you really want that you feel you have no closure with, I definitely feel like this person will be equal with you. I feel like this person will be receptive of you. I feel like this person may not be reaching out to you because they feel insecure or vice versa. But I definitely feel like this is someone who will collaborate with you. They will work with you. They're willing to meet you halfway, okay? What is the advice for Capricorn, please? The devil. This is your energy. This is about getting control of your life doing what it is that you want to do, having the freedom to do what it is that you want to do, no longer being bound or tied to a situation that you feel you can't change, a situation that you're stressed out about, that you're worried about. It's time to step into your power, okay, because I feel like things aren't, things are so disorganized in your life that I feel like um, you're, there's a lot of conflict, you know, there's a lack of teamwork, there's a lack of collaboration, but it just... All it is is that you need to step up and take control of the situation. And I feel like this is someone who will collaborate with you. This is being illuminated. So Spirit, what messages do we have for Capricorn, please? What message do we have for Capricorn, please? It says rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take breaks. Yes, we do. Um, you know, some, it's good to take breaks. It's good to just stop and gather your thoughts and realize who you truly are and what you need. Um, you have to listen to your body. You have to listen to your intuition. And I feel like you have been resting. And I feel like now's the time to step up and demonstrate love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. Um, yeah, demonstrate love. You know, this is someone who maybe doesn't know how you feel about them. Um, it's not about being about it, it's it's showing actions. It's not just telling someone that things are okay. It's showing them that things are okay. You know, it's making a promise and then holding true to that promise with your words, okay? So, Cappies, I'm going to leave it here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want a personal reading with me, all the information can always be found down below. I wish you guys love and light, and I will talk with you later. Bye, Cappies.